going on, guys? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. I'm your host, Beaker. We got my bunnos, Melly and Paya. Kind of a different setup today because once again, this video is brought to you by Grand Cross Age of Titans. The gang has pretty much been sponsored by Age of Titans all month. This is the second video we've done with them. We said in the first one, look, give me an anime princess and like some, like, look. I'm a sucker for this stuff. This game is a story. I mean, I love single player games with a story, you know, like JRPG, you know, deep strategy, but also story based games. And I, I don't know, I don't see that on mobile a lot. Genuine voice acting. I mean, it's it's made me want to become a voice actor. So pretty much my, my life has changed entirely. I'm gonna come become a voice actor after this. <laughs> anyway, I've gotten way off topic, guys. It's tradition here on Meeker's Lab. Get your shades on and get your shoes off. If you didn't see the first video we did, uh, sort of introing this, it, we saw a lot of the story, right? And I think that's, like I said, the biggest selling point of the game for me. But you also have something we're all pretty familiar with if you're a mobile gamer. You got the strategy, base building, and of course, going out in the world, you know, attacking, PvE, PvP. All right, so the core gameplay of the game, base, you know, goes around a couple strategy, you know, mobile gaming strategy themes that I'm going to say almost all of us like. Yo, was that one of my heroes? Just chilling there? Oh. I don't know, I like it. It all essentially revolves around heroes. You know, they're like these generals of your army. And I kind of like games like this, where even if you want to be free to play, you can get free summons right here. You know, you'll end up with a ton of heroes. They give you a bunch for free. Anyway, we'll come back and do as much free to play stuff as, as we can in just a minute, because I haven't spent anything and, you know, I haven't needed gems for anything. So guys, anytime you do a big upgrade on your, you know, your base here, you do get a little bit more of the story. And I wish I had recorded every single one of them, man, because I've been doing some of them. I'm like, I'm actually like getting little pieces of this story. And it's this kind of meta, almost making fun of itself kind of story where Eugene and Mio, th th this guy and girl, get sucked into this game and they have to, you know, like it's such a common thing in anime. The fact that they kind of make fun of the fact that it is a common thing and they're still doing it, I, I don't know, I like that. Every time a, a cutscene has come up, I've generally been like excited to see what happens and it's kind of like voice acting, man. I don't know, I'm into that. But you, you can skip all that stuff if, if you want to. I definitely think give it a shot though because it, it makes it more fun for me. I have enough gems to upgrade this castle. I might just like do it so we can see what happens at the end, but you can see, we don't have quite enough loot down there. So basically that's what's been like dragging me around from thing to thing. I'm like, all right, how do I get what I need? How do I get enough storage to get what I need? So right here we have the, yeah, Corey's upgraded as high as it's gonna go. So I don't need to tell you guys this. You already know in any strategy, you know, mobile strategy game like this, you gotta keep your builders working at all times. Like as long as you're working on something, you really can't go wrong if you keep things, you know, moving. But of course there is an, uh, an order that you should go I'm going to say offense over everything. You know, we, we kind of know that. Now, in this case, you go to the artisan. I believe I only have one builder at a time right now, which is okay. I mean, a lot of this stuff doesn't take that long anyway. It's okay. So the way I've kind of been going through it is you see up in the top left, there's like that little piece of paper, that little scroll. It essentially says like, here's what you should probably do next. You don't have to do it, but if you do, it gives you some rewards and it kind of steers you around the, uh, the story. Reach soldier recruitment level one. All right, let's go to do that. Guys. I'll show you the building right here. It's just like the laboratory, the academy, the place you, you you know, research your troops and, and level up stuff in that way. Let's click on it right here with soldier recruitment. Yeah, I was gonna say, I bet this is gonna be like instant. So in the beginning, stuff is so fast. And actually you guys see that like hand, like what's up, bro? You hit that and somebody helps you. Boom, it's done. All right, so that's gonna finish this final thing down here. Claim, oh, we got some gems, dude. Is that where the Titans are? Okay, I'm gonna be real. This game is called Age of Titans and I haven't seen a Titan yet. That looks like a Titan. All right, so we briefly mentioned it in the, in the first episode, but we don't really, you know, we haven't seen the Titans yet. This is also anime stuff that I love, like giant mechs or, you know, Titans. Here we go. Titan, please appear for the people of Steina. Let's go, princess. Yeah, buddy. Legendary Titan, the oath of the stars left by the goddess to protect Skyna. The Titan has awakened. I can't believe I'm seeing a Titan awaken with my own eyes. Um, I just want to point out this thing has been like right next to their house the whole time. So like, what? <laughs> I love you, girls. You make this story fun. We're going to ride this thing all the way to the royal castle. Non-gamers just don't get it. Titans are the ultimate weapon, but they can't be used right away. 
Right now, it'll help us boost morale and fighting spirit. Yeah, I think it does literally buff your troops and stuff. Like, it's a, you know, we, we know, like, heroes, titans, this all makes sense if you're a mobile game. All right, this is all new to me, guys. All right, guys, so again, this is all new to me. Haven't done any of this yet. First, let's look for the sword that is the titan's core. Th this is going to be cool. That is a really generic legend. Dude, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, they kind of make fun of themselves. Dude, this is what I like. Like, you... You guys can see that right yeah behind my camera two minutes and 40 seconds all right let's build this here we go remember to get that little thing oh yeah and you get so many of these free boosters like let's hit this boost Oop, i didn't even need it It was like 20 seconds it's done all right we'll come back to that once we get some titans to use now look offense you can never go wrong keeping anything offense related like the archer training ground you know, you know the archer barracks the cavalry barracks keeping these things moving all the time you can never go wrong i mean as long as you got the resources right let's go in here i think it actually wanted me oh i saw an upgrade that was only possible when you do iron sword production cavalry wait the guy oh that might be even better all right i'm gonna go with that cavalry let's go oh so the oh okay so this is what we're basically gonna do we're gonna keep going to this until we can unlock heavy cavalry that's the one we want so i'm gonna keep going with the cavalry dude hey that's a completely new building what is this oh this is gonna give us a titan right this is definitely gonna give us a titan and it, all it wants us to have is 8,000 required combat power work or at 20k you can see up there that just means like you've done the upgrades right you guys are all gonna get here real quick just yo who is this it said like Lori's mansion phew now i got this mansion back i guess i'm gonna do my job what's your job you may not know this but i gathered many items early on while traveling throughout i can guarantee they will help in your journey all right let's go all right i gotta make my camera a little smaller right now well i gotta make it a lot you guys see right behind me there was the the backpack click on that backpack that's where so much free stuff that i've gotten that i just haven't even used look at this go over to miscellaneous you see that hammer it gets you a second builder i just got this for free right let's use that we'll get the second artisan yo now we have two that's gonna help so much dude all right man so i just started the the castle upgrade itself you can click you know stuff like that to speed it up but i'm gonna get in here use every single speed up that i have look these like five minute speed ups let's go let's use three use one the way i've gotten all this free stuff i just like keep clicking on like thank you thank you thank you it's from this consecutive login vip points so every time you log in it gives you some points the vip level is basically that right so every time you log in you get some points goes towards this stuff and you can see every consecutive login you do all right so right here like vip level six permanently hire an additional builder uh, all the production speeds go up like this is easy if you're free to play like this is what makes the game free to play right you, you don't have to buy the stuff in a battle pass it's right here what i've been doing i always click up in the top left there and little chapters here claim this just keeps you on track like you don't have to do these things but if you do it sort of guides you through the story and then tells you you know where you should be going next i've talked a little bit about how mio and eugene they're the two main characters who just got, got like sucked into the video game now they're main characters but also i love how like the heroes and you know, like the princess herself is a hero, right? So they're part of the story, but they're also part of the battle, part of the strategy. I feel like Valkyrie, like any game you're gonna make, I mean, you can have a Valkyrie in any game. I'm gonna like it. Whoa, I haven't seen that yet. Relationships. Okay, so like the interpersonal connections between the heroes and the characters in the game, man, I, I love this stuff. All right, so she is the one I've been upgrading. And since we have some talent points, let's keep it going. I would say pick a path and just stick with it right like you can you can spread all your points around but like i don't know I, I tend to just let's just pick one and go with it so cavalry defense level up and level up again that's going to give us another we don't have any more points but we can keep going up the list here today's video we're probably going to mostly check out the pve aspect because you can get a lot from just it, it's part of the story essentially right you're doing story battles like single player missions i do love this stuff so do we get to use the titan now okay Look up at the top right, you click. We're of course, you know, we're gonna get our girl. You already know. All right, click on, click on Valkyrie. Now she rides with cavalry and we have upgraded cavalry more. Whoa, it says this battle is incredibly dangerous. <laughs> That's kind of scary. All right, so we clicked ready. I am gonna go against the side. I think we're gonna keep the Titan in the middle sort of tanking for everybody. Valky, come on, go up the side. You got this that titan is just soloing everybody okay when it said this battle is incredibly dangerous i'm like all right we're about to get ko'd no <laughs> all creatures promised there would be friendship between the titans the goddess and living beings hmm. so why were we abandoned by the goddess no 
The goddess didn't abandon us. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, the heroes are also characters in the game. Like, that's the princess's sort of, like, shield or whatever, you know? Like, the, the, the person who protects her. Then why did the kingdom fall? You see, princess, the power of the star fragment has returned, and the titan has arisen. The sage of wisdom and the saintess of blessings responded to our call. Thank you for empowering me. Now is not the time to be weak. A guiding star should not let its light dim. Until Skyna finds peace, I won't give up. Can I take a screenshot of that? That's like, what's good, princess? All right, guys, so if I had to give some advice about, like, the only real things not to do, like, you all are familiar with, with mobile strategy games. The only thing I would say not to do is, like, don't get sucked into doing one upgrade over and over and over, because obviously, you know, they start to get, they start to get into hours and then more and more and more when you will likely have a bunch of buildings around that are like 54 seconds, right? Like, you know, using your time wisely, like, you know, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna get a lot more out of a lot of those short upgrades than one big one. Keep the academy working at all times. Like that, I, I need to keep following that. I'm actually gonna do, let's keep going with cavalry training. 42 minutes. Actually, I got a couple of buildings I never built. <laughs> That's probably the number one tip. Uh, yeah, make sure you build all your buildings. Okay, done. Even for level one, you know, you're gonna be doing something. Okay, now, as we said earlier, this is one of my favorite things, this chapter thing. And I think we're about to get the, set, the, the final one in this chapter. Let's check it out. Yup, claim reward. So we get a bunch of free gems, dude. That's like, what? We have like almost 700 gems. We didn't buy any. What What are you trying to, it's like pointing me up to the top here. Leech, I, I have not seen this yet. What is this? Goddess healing, tap screen to continue. Okay, what do we got? Whoa, we, we haven't seen this. Can I give it to Valkyrie? You're not letting me give it to Valkyrie. I have to give it to the princess. Okay, this is really cool, man. I think we're gonna, we're gonna have some new strategy with whatever this skill is, but basically, Again, I trust that all you guys are gonna know like strategy in this case. As long as you have your, your tank up front, you don't get everybody bunched up, you're gonna do well. Now, I think this is all melee stuff, right? I can't zoom in here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Valky, right? I think you can do that. Just level up one, you know, especially in the beginning, level up your favorite hero. Uh Valky's up my favorite. <laughs> and she rides with the with the cavalry, the horse guys, so uh they have good stats. They just look like the best ones to me uh in the beginning anyway ready all right so what does this do we're gonna drag it over oh it's like a it's like an area of effect spell or something all right let's let's do it right there i want to make sure it's as far up as we can <gasps> oh that's dope all right so we can get uh valky and the crew yeah it looked like it was the same either way like the same amount of troops up top and and down bottom that top crew might are you guys seeing the titan just like do we even need troops? I think the Titan is just doing all, everything. Valky, uh, can you go up and help, buddy? Valky, we don't even need her. <laughs> all right, man, easy win. Receive the following rewards. Tap screen to continue. Cool. I'm gonna go a little quicker through this one. Mio, you make a pretty good Saintess of Blessings. Uh, are you teasing? I I'm sorry. What? You're right, Mio. Not every moment can reach a rational conclusion. All this time, I've trusted games to be reasonable, and they are always reasonable, and that is why I obsessed over games. If you only stick to your own opinions, that's selfish. If you don't try to understand others, you're just running away from reality. So I... I won't run away. Nice, let's get I it. I am going to connect this world with my unique uh, strategy. I hope he's got like a new trooper. <sighs> I feel like a main character in some inspirational cutscene. I, I like I like a game that like pokes fun at itself a little bit. There's been times where Eugene is like says something about skipping dialogue, and the game automatically skips him. Like it's fu it. I don't know. I like that. I like it's funny, man. Do tell, Sage of Wisdom. I'm listening. Monsters will attack this place in two days' time. What? Let me finish. I'm not trying to defend this place. We'll be attacking first. Nice. Rather, we'll catch the monsters off guard, advance to the royal castle, and enter it without bloodshed. And while the monsters are gone, we'll take the star heart stored in the royal castle basement. Are nice. you saying the legendary star heart is in the royal castle? It functions like a key. We'll use it to go back to our home world. Would that be the end then? You're so fast. I can see why you're such a show off. The army of monsters. I didn't expect our day of revenge to come this soon. She's cool. 
Yo, so we have like a mission now to go get this key thing in the in the basement of what the old castle that got overrun by monsters i think something like that do you guys think they're actually gonna go home i don't think they're gonna go home <laughs> all right we should get ready for deployment hmm? uh -huh. did you feel the surroundings shake just now what do you mean it's not the monster's turn i mean it's not their time yet ah! could it be is Necro showing up now? It's supposed to be a hidden boss after the castle war. Esther isn't fully ready yet, but we have no choice. Let's activate it now. Esther will be able to stop Necro. This early. Oh man, is this another person who got sucked into the game, but they're like a baddie? We like this. Uh, hello, outsider. Or should I call you player? Y you must be. You can think of me as your forerunner. I arrived here before you did. What is going on? There are other people from Earth here? I'm only here to introduce myself, player. I've already cleared the stage. Playing with someone who doesn't even have a titan isn't worth my time. It's been fun. Let's play again sometime. Since we're in a game, I guess you could say... Hmm. On to the next stage. <laughs> Good luck. Have fun. the only ones who were special that guy he was wearing a school uniform wasn't he no roxana where are you roxana what why did she just get shot that was one of the best cutscenes they've done yet dude like a titan battle and then our titans seem to get taken out i mean another you know player character basically wow that was cool so i guess that's i i, I like what they just they're kind of like introducing multiplayer but in a also linking it to the main like single player story like another player comes over and he's a jerk or like just evil or i don't know maybe just another player maybe this is how the game's gonna be i think they were trying to telegraph that he was like he's been here too long and <laughs> he's sort of turned uh evil anyway you can definitely see we ha we now have uh, some new functions here we're gonna be getting in this next time guys uh, yeah yeah so this is gonna man it's so wild that like i already enjoyed all the little things that are just in your little world and then you can go all the way out and like of course there's a world map of course there's pvp like in all these ways so guys we're gonna have some links in the description below i've really focused on the single player you know pve stuff i love it it's like my favorite part of the game so far but next episode we are gonna dive into like making an alliance uh, having an alliance like i don't know if any of you guys like get in on the early access let's go let's do it we will see you guys in the next episode peace